This is a very important lesson that took me a long time to learn. You want to go slow to gain muscle fast. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why you want to do this theory. I'm going to show you in application with a couple of workouts and also the mistakes that most people make. Now, what inspired this video is that I was listening to a podcast with seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. What are you right thinking? Here. To the side. Yep. To the side. Because sometimes you see people almost flaring up with dumbbells down. But as you did that, your traps moved. So I don't need that. Yep. I don't want that. Lower trap. Now that's going to, uh-uh. I just need to get it. If I'm working this, I understand it's a secondary muscle, but I don't need to be. You're isolating. Because you end up doing this. You see guys like they come down and then they're doing this. Why is that moving? Can I deactivate it? Sure. Right here. Okay. Cool. Let's do that. So, okay. And the thing is with bodybuilders they're known for doing something a little extra to get that pump but when i started listening to the podcast and listening to how intelligent he was and when it came to how to get his physique before he started using the sauce it really opened up my eyes to what needs to happen in order to get that chisel physique one of the things is that if you're going slow to gain muscle fast these are the benefits that you're going to get better muscle separation you're going to look leaner more vascular and you're going to get all those little extra muscle fibers that gives you those details because you see a lot of people just want to get big but the thing is to look big it's almost like the difference between hd 1080p and 4k definition and 4k definition is going to make you appear more muscular and big now when i say go slow to gain muscle fast what i mean is that you want to make sure that you're using perfect form to get all those details and by going slow what you're going to do is focus on the contraction of the muscle that you're trying to work out this is something called mind muscle connection in order for you to achieve that great looking physique that mind muscle connection needs to be going throughout the entire exercise okay maybe not the entire one but if you're going to do reps of eight to ten nine of those reps need to be perfect and if they're not perfect you need to go down in resistance level. Now here are a couple examples to explain what I mean by going slow and making sure that you're actually using the muscles contracting and stretching that you need to get those fine details. Sometimes it's a big problem for people to grow their triceps because this is what they're doing. You see it in the gym. You see people going like that. But if you actually get right in focus here, okay? And you're just going slow, and you're letting that pose just hang right there, okay? You're locking them out. You're squeezing right there. See what you wanna do, I'll show you with a single arm here, is that when you show off those triceps, this is what you do right here. So you wanna mimic that and hold that position. Because when you flex, it's gonna be a couple of seconds here when you're doing flexing. So I want you to get that and it really gets all those little details in your muscle. Okay, so right here you see I have a 25 pound dumbbell, pretty standard. Okay, I know what you're thinking, no problem. So which is what you see normally in the gym. You see people going like this. Focus on going slow with great form with a lighter weight first. So we're gonna go to a 10 pounder, all right? And instead, what we're gonna do is Let's see, let's start from the side here so you can see. We're gonna come up and I want you to squeeze that. Keep that elbow pinned in and I want you to feel that contraction all the way down, all right? And you notice I'm controlling it on the way down, all right? I'm in full control. I'm just focusing right there on that bicep, all right? I'm not rocking my body. I'm not swinging it up and down, and we're just squeezing like that. You see the vein popping? You see how much distance that bicep is coming out there? With that time under tension, I'm getting a lot more muscle fibers, okay? I'll show you here from the outside. As you see, right there, I can actually see and I'm feeling that contraction right there in the bicep. 
Now, after you've done that lightweight with that perfect form, now it's time to go up. And you'll notice it's gonna be a lot harder this time. So same thing, body stable, up, going down. Woo. Now these first two are killers. I just want you to try this at home and you'll notice it's gonna be a lot more efficient. And you know what? If you like hearing my crazy inner thoughts about how to gain muscle, just go ahead and hit that like button. It lets me know that you wanna hear more of these crazy thoughts and I'll let you know how to build muscle faster and more efficient. Now, as you're watching this, I want you to ask yourself, what is your goal? Are you an athlete? Are you a person for looking for longevity? If you wanna have good movement as you age, I'm telling you, focusing on the technique and the details, going slow, making sure that you're contracting those muscles, it's gonna get you there. It's gonna get you there way faster than you thought. If you're going to the gym and you're comparing yourself to others, I know we all do it, but you gotta tune that out. You gotta remind yourself your why. Why am I doing this? Because if you really want to have that chiseled physique, if you're that person that when you walk into the room, people can notice that you really work out, you have to make sure that you take that ego and lower it, all right? Lower that ego. If you go lighter, you'll be shocked how much harder it can be when you're going slow. A lot of people, they look at my chest and they say, man, how much do you bench press? You know what my answer is? I don't know. And they look at me confused for a while. They're like, you don't know. I'm like, yeah, because I don't do it. Because what I do is I actually use cables and resistance bands. And the resistance bands give me more of a contraction and I can really focus on my chest when I'm working those out. Now, that's just something that I do. You don't have to do that. But if you are interested in that, you can actually do this at home. And I have a bunch of videos on this channel that's gonna show you how to do it. So if that's something you're interested in, I would highly recommend that you subscribe and go ahead and check out this chest video here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about because I put the technique in all the exercises. So thank you for watching. Tune in next week because I'm thinking about making a series of videos of just using slow with good form. Let me know if you wanna hear that.